Hey yo, what's up my beloved champions fam? It's the bad guy of WWE champion Zeke 4 0 back with a brand new video. This video is going to be short, sweet, and brief, so allow me to get right to the point. This week's midweek contest for the Summer of Darkness NLC is all about the return of showboat legend Santa Hogan, especially when it pertains to this tour, Ripmus in July. If you don't know, allow me to explain. Santa Hogan is a top-notch, top-tier, high-quality entourage accessory that is going to change your account. Now, granted, there is a far and in-between when it pertains to picking up his Evolve tokens, because unlike other superstars, it's going back to the old ways. You can treat Santa Hogan similar to your free-to-play MLC champion, except when it comes to his drops for his Evolve tokens, yeah... It, it's truly a hit and a miss and depending on how many you get will test your patience so you either have the option of going into this free to play open mind knowing you're not going to get everything straight right away or you can go ahead and invest some disposable income to speed up some things because there's plenty of offers in the store in game as well as plenty of exclusive offers on the portal side of things that will allow you to get Santa Hogan up sooner rather than later. Aside from this Rip Miss in July tour allowing you an opportunity at more midweek prize wall medallions to use on the said midweek prize wall at the end of this MLC. Hopefully you're hoarding everything until the very end and not spending early. Learn from my mistakes. We also have this showdown with different requirements needed and necessary Necessary for you to get further ahead within the solo contest. So look, I'm going to be real with you. Initially, I was going to do two videos. I was going to do a video of Becky Lynch the GOAT clearing out the hell mode within Ritmus in July. And then I was also going to do a video on powerhouse legend Hulk Hogan the Immortal clearing out hell mode. But I have some very bad news. Bad news coming from the bad guy of WWE Champions. I will not be able to partake in either one of these. And the real reason is this. Quite frankly, let's I'm going to be real with you. I look at this. Basically, you go from fighting a six-star bronze to a six-star silver up to a six-star gold. And I love a challenge. I'm always going to be game from a challenge. But there's a difference between knowing your limitations, understanding it, and doing your due diligence, and then just realizing, in the famous words of CM Punk, sometimes you just got to come to terms and realize you can't box a, you can't box with God. You can't outbox God. And this is what's going on right here. As much as I would love to clear these people out for what? This incredible amount of, of medallions right here, you know? As much as I would love to clear things out for uh, what I believe giving you 180 medallions, if I recall correctly, 180 medallions on hell mode for both tours, right? It's not worth it. For me, it just comes to a real reality check thing. My Becky Lynch is only at five star silver. I have the resources to take people up to six star gold. I'm not going to dip into these knowing full well, first and foremost, I do. I could put a strap on her, which gives her a little bit of HP, 25% more HP. I do got a couple moments for her, but sad to say, sad to say, I don't have her gears. Her gears will make her a monster. Her gears will make it worth me going in and get and doing what I need to because moves starting off there with five more MP would be clutch. The submission doing additional damage. That would be great. I do have the, the I do have the boat skill plate, which would allow her to cycle with this move set. It would definitely help out. Breaking purples would give me reds. I could I could dig it. I can or what the rock is cooking, either way. For re reversible situations, okay? I could do it, but I can't. And quite frankly, I'm not going to because my resources just aren't with it. I could pump some of this TP enter, but it's going to take away from my moves when it pertains to the next upcoming feud prep talent up. I just can't afford to do it. 
I can't. I was able to do normal uh, normal mode and hard mode gameplay, autoplay all day. You know how I go. But uh, you know how I, how I do and how it goes. But unfortunately, when it comes to hell mode, I will not be able to lock and load and watch the gems explode be just because of the situation. For instance, uh, another example, Hulk Hogan. I would love to do, uh, do this run with Hulk Hogan. I've seen plenty of videos. I even sat down. I was watching Sir Zorro's gameplay videos. And here's the irony about it. I have him at Six Star Bronze the same way I have Hollywood, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. I have Legend Powerhouse Hulk Hogan and Attitude Era Trickster Hulk Hogan. Both the Six Star Bronze for one reason and one reason alone. Their entourage and coaching abilities. No more, no less. That's literally my thing. My favorite version of Hulk Hogan will forever be Hollywood Hulk Hogan. But let's dig, uh, let's dig a little deeper in here. We have two of his moments right here. We got them both at level 20. The tributes to the troops does help out. The gener generate uh, moves will generate um, all color gems. Uh, moves that generate all color gems will create an additional. His color gems are doing 42% more damage right now. The, co the color moves are doing 106 more damage. And then we have some faction, uh, faction boss bonuses. If this was fully maxed out, I'd be able to generate three more color gems. I would be able to have... 100% more gem damage, and then I would also be able to partake in 200% move damage. Now, here's the icing on the cake on this one here. This one, once maxed out, it would add an additional uh, multiply gem strength of one, and the gems would be doing 120, uh, well, they'd basically be doing 125% with both moments, with the 25 coming from this one. The downside about it is, I do not have the WrestleMania moment with muhammad ali i sadly do not have that one which would make him a, a, an absolute beast and a problem and to top it all off i also do not have his santa hogan gear which is available in the banner but when it comes to these you know, comes to gotcha games you have to pick your spots now look i saw a lot of value when it came to doing the celebration of the na a nation pool, I saw a lot of value when I did my my star uh, my six star six star uh, star spangled banner loop pulls. I saw a lot of value when it came to doing my three peat on the Tiffy Time debut loop. There was a lot to go there for me. I just got done watching Lee's. <sighs> Lee took one for the team from Championship. Make sure to check the video out if you don't know. You, know, you will find out. Um, there's certain banners and there's certain characters where it's like, look, I like Hogan. I respect what he did for the for the business. What he did in his personal life is completely on him. But the character, I, only only God can judge us. At the end of the day, he is a man just like I am a man. He has to, he sinned, I've sinned, we've all sinned. But at the end of the day, I don't see myself really going in to even have a chance at going with the with this situation so look 180 180 medallions is not worth this it, it, it's not and then the same concept is going to happen when edge is uh, edge the iconoclast um tour comes up i'll be able to clear normal mode i'll be able to clear hard mode but hell mode Hell no, it ain't happening. But look, kudos and congratulations to anybody who was able to cakewalk these because I'm not taking nothing away from that. It is an opportunity. Not every opportunity in any, any game or in life is going to work out to your benefit. I was able to clear as much as I could, but I am deeply sorry and I have to apologize because I said, I believe in a, a previous video, when I broke down the blog, that I was going to do content for this. And sadly, the content I'm bringing forward to you now is a humbling one. It's like, there's going to be some things you can you can do and there's certain things you won't be able to do. I'm not going to moan and groan about it, but I'm also going to be realistic here too. For the amount of medallions that you're getting to go up against a six-star bronze, a six-star silver, and a six-star gold of some very top-shelf high-end characters is absolutely ludicrous. Let alone the amount of uh, to Santa tokens that you're able to get from clearing out the milestones. I'm just going to show you something real quick, okay? We're going to do a couple things right here. Yeah, it's story time with Zeke 410, baby. So let's go ahead and check out this banner. Let's check out this banner. All right. Now, I did have the universal uh, universal credits. I did partake. I did do one uh, do a pull and it did not go too well. 
it did not. I mean, on one side, I did do a pull, and I was able to, um, I was able to get 300 Trish Stratus shards, so I'm now, like, I believe 700 off from her, um, Canadian Icon Trish, and that's another focus trickster to worry about, because we are, we still got Liv, we still got Mama, uh, Mama Rhea, we still got Stacy Keebler, so the waifus are just gonna keep on increasing, but look, it's a solid banner, yeah, let me talk to you. It's a lot of good characters on here. I'm not taking away from that, but you have to remember the RNG. And then you got to look at it like this. You could pull a lot on here and it'll be nothing but duplicates of characters. Like, I am interested in the fact of Edge still being in the game and still being utilized. Do they know something that we don't know? I don't know. I'm thinking that because Edge left on good terms and good graces with WWE, He's still available within here. I don't, it could be something that has to do with the trademark. I don't know. Because if that really were the case, then where's Zombie uh, Zombie Daniel Bryan at? Because Zombie Daniel Bryan, if I recall correctly, was one of the, if not the first original zombie that debuted in the game. If that were the case, then Zombie uh, Daniel Bryan would be, uh, be up and about whenever zombies pull up. But that's just me, though. That's neither here or there. But um, even with this, there's a lot of good characters here, and you could pull somebody, and you could get their Christmas gear. So that is dope. There are some solid heavy hitters on here. And you, if you do the 55 pull, you do get two guarantees. But you could also get plenty of duplicates of characters that you already have with their gear, and you don't even use them. So it's a decent banner. But are you going to be pulling everybody? More than likely not. You're probably going to get scoped out. Now, granted, now with certain things like the Dominator, Bobby Lashley, you could use those shards. If you pulled and, uh, and recruited Wade Barrett last MLC, you can get his gear and he becomes quite deadly, quite dangerous. If you got Becky and you get her, one of her gears, hey, that plus five MP is going to be great. And of course, if you get Hogan, you might not have his white and black gear, but you can get started by having the pieces fall into place and fall in the line. But inevitably... It's it, it really depends on where you're at and what you're willing to invest and in, how far you really want to go in for it. I was able, by the grace of God, when it comes to this uh, comes to this one, for the Ripmus, we were able to clear out the, the all of them. We were able to basically knock out what we needed to because the bonuses. We were able to do a pull. We got bonuses because there was a. I'm not. I did pick up the um five dollar pack. I did get three additional ones, and from there, I was able to get the 300 shards. So, keeping it a buck with you on that. There's no reason to lie about a, about a mobile game or anything, for that matter. Most bitter truth is better than the sweetest lie. So, we were able to take out what we could. We were able to knock out what we could without really spending crazy like that. Like, I'm not missing five bucks. It is what it is, okay? And we were able to clear out all the main chests. So then we have these extra ones here, 25, uh, 25 Hogan shards, 25 Hogan shards. Where, where, where are we going with this? All right, An another 50, okay? Get some more medallions. It skips around. 100, 100 of these. I was able to get enough Evolve tokens from these milestones where now I can take my Santa Hogan from four star bronze the four star silver that is pretty much it but there are offers in the store where you can get uh, spend 100 bucks and get 500 of those tokens so it depends on you it really depends on you me personally and i stand by this his ability is great his his um his uh coaching ability his entourage ability is a, is a good thing to have on your squad, Santa Hogan. So let's look at it. Let's take a look at it right here. All right, 9K, 2,200, uh, 2200 more damage. When you get him to 17K, moves start with one move, uh, one, one, one more MP, and all gems, any color, are going to still do 22. And then you get higher up. If you get him all the way up to six-star gold, right? And remember, this is like it's not changing for anything. 
It's not like he switches over to showboat to showboat um, tokens and call it a day. They have literally made him a trophy character similar to Hall of Fame Booker T. Either you got, either you pulled and recruited Hall of Fame Booker T, the very first ever Hall of Fame champion. Either you pulled him or you didn't. He has not been back in circulation yet. And more than likely, he never will be because that was the point of him. He was a exclusive trophy champion. Either you got him or you didn't. Similar to Wolfpack Sting. Either you pulled Tech Attitude Era Sting or you did not. Santa Hogan is a character that is accessible to everybody. But it could, depending on how you spend and how you go about things, it could literally be a hit or miss situation. Again, you get in a six star gold, any color gems is doing 18,000 more damage. Any color moves are going to deal 30 more 30% 30 more damage. And any color moves start with one more MP. The end of the day, at the end of the day, let's be real right now. They have come out with a plethora of other superstars that could easily fill in for Santa Hogan. That one MP seems to be the one thing that's the most attractive about him. That additional one MP so when you go into anything, you will have an extra buff. You will have that extra perk and you will be able to really turn one with a lot of characters. But looking at us now in the six star gold meta, and with seven stars coming around the corner, this is definitely not a short swing brief video. At the end of the day, he's going to need a partner in crime. There's going to have to come out another character that is similar to him. And I'm praying if that character is free, because they're doing right by us right now with how, they did, how they're doing Ozzy. Like, Ozzy has been, is hands down one of the best things they've given us. If I really strongly feel, even if you don't spend that much, you're still, you still have a solid chance of getting Ozzy to at least five star gold or six star bronze before it's all said and done. And it doesn't seem like he's gonna be needing special tokens like Santa Hogan. He'll more than likely convert to trickster tokens and you can just call it a day. Now, I know, and a lot of people, I, I'm getting a little on a little tangent. I know a lot of people that say that, that told me, hey, don't do that, don't save the shards. Look, I convert, I literally pulled him, I got Ozzy. At six star bronze now. Took him to six star bronze. How did I get all those shards? Well, I'll tell you how I got those shards. I literally did what I, what I said I was going to do when I heard about it. I waited until I cleared uh, cleared certain points, and then I took him up further. I literally had him at five star bronze. I had him at five star bronze. Then I had him at five star gold, and all the shards converted. So basically, he was at five star bronze. I, I think I took him up to five, like I, I took him to five star bronze and then I waited to fuse him up to six star, the six star bronze and all those extra shards converted. That's what I was able to do. And yes, people who told me they're like, hey, his, the, the, the difficulty of his content will go up, which it did. But he's so cracked that I was able to still handle business with him at five star bronze or five star silver before before converting everything. So it, it's like, I think Ozzy, when everything's said and done, he's going to convert to his tokens. They're not gonna do the same thing with Santa Hogan. They're not. And with, with that being said, long story short of it is, your best bet is just to focus in on the showdown tournament. Those extra milestones are great. The extra medallions do come in clutch because I thought that for a minute I was not going to be able to recruit Julius. But if everything falls into place, I very well might be able to shard recruit Julius. I might not be able to do the like that. I'm not calling my shot like with Tiff with Tiffy time. But if everything works out, if I don't get him by the end of this MLC, I will at least have a good shot at him in the following months to come, similar to how they did with um, Bret Hart and Rex Ragum. The same could be said about Julius for me. But I just wanted to make this video just to make it clear that Santa Hogan's a great coach, but when it comes to this tour, it's not really worth it unless you got someone, you literally can only use the characters that are required for this. So then it comes to the question of how far did you work up your Santa? Your, your, how, how far did you work up your Becky? How far did you work up your immortal, uh, immortal Hulk Hogan? Um, we didn't know anything about this uh, blog until it went live a few hours before. So you couldn't capitalize 
on the previous master manager situation. Obviously, they have one live and available right now, but then you look at it. You, what you're putting into these characters to get this done for 180 medallions per hell mode run, is it really worth the moves that you could do that will be more thriving and long-term for your future, your future feud prep talent up? And for me, I have to say no. Like we're working, we're getting our coins up, we're building up the, we're building up to get our TP up. We're stockpiling up tons and tons of tokens. We're doing the best that we can. This was one of those moves where I'm grateful that I got normal and hard done. I'm just sorry to all of you that I was not able to deliver those two hell mode um, videos that I wanted to. It just, it don't make sense. It does not make sense. I need to take up um, Tiffany Stratton. She needs purple. She needs red. Those colors are colors that Becky's going to be utilizing. Same thing. I will the same thing with Bertain to even working on Hulk Hogan. He needs black. He needs red. There's other characters that I that utilize those colors. Yellow too. So it's one of those things where you pick your spot. Santa Hogan is a great coach, but moving forward, they're probably going to release another coach similar to him. And I'm praying, I'm praying that they end up making it a lot easier to move that character up, do something similar to how they did Cowboy Orton. Like, hey, here's a free character, but here are some packs if you want to invest in them early and call it that. Santa Hogan's been in the game for a couple years now. I'm surprised that they haven't yet done like, hey, let, want to speed up your progress? Here's a five-star gold pack. Here's a six-star bronze pack. I mean, yeah, you're still going to have to use the Evolve tokens to move them up any further, but it would give you a, like, for those who spend money or invest disposable income, it would give you a little more initiative instead of, you know, moving bit by bit. Like I said, I cleared out all that content, got through the gold chest and everything, literally, and only got enough. I only got a couple of tokens to take him from four star bronze to four star silver. That's wild to me. That's wild to me. But it's different strokes for different folks. So um, that's pretty much the video, y'all. Ripmus in July is the midweek contest. If you want additional medallions, obviously, you're going to take care of the tours. You're going to grind out the showdown the best you can. You're going to use all the required superstars that you can. Um, I know that you get a bonus for using any Roman Reigns, any Stone Cold Steve Austin. Also, I believe, who, who else was it? Super Stacy was another character that you utilize that you can get points. Um, Bodacious Becky, she's another character that helps you out. Obviously, by earning um, Showdown coins, within the limited time Showdown, you will also get points. Spending... Your loot, uh, your spending the loot coins will help you out as well. Um, the Broski Lee, when he did his pulls, he did a, I believe he did a 55 pull, and the the initial 55 because it was double up on the on the points, he was able to clear out all the way to the gold chest. So that is a benefit if you're a spender. You literally can clear everything out. But like I said, I was able to clear out all through seven, and that was just by me grinding stuff out. That was just for me grinding things out. And um, when it comes to the showdown side of things, there's it's a couple easy things that you can do. Um, for me, for me, obviously it's husbando first and wife you second. So literally you have your wife who's on standby. I was able to get a lot further ahead because I had Alexa Bliss player pain, who I got absolutely free, and her giving me that 25 million just for two matches in world the uh, world league or higher. That helped me knock out things. And then when you're in the World League or higher, using This Is My Brutality, Rhea Ripley helped out a lot. Now, granted, we have another uh, batch of bonus characters and bonus re rewards and resources possibly coming because Edges of the Tour is going to go live later. That is a possibility. But look. And me, I was just trying to get in and out. So I just used my best husbandos and just had them carry everything. And um, you also get bonus points for using Legends 10 times, Ruthless Aggression 10 times, and um, Modern Era 10 times. So you do those and you'll be golden. That's 100K a pop. Then you also have the benefits of you dealing damage with these characters. You get extra another 25 mil for using Roxanne twice. So I know Lee's loving that one. But 
it's it's an easy grind this to go around. It's not that bad. You can get as far as you can, do the best that you can, but most importantly, have fun. That's what it's all about. Santa Hogan isn't going anywhere. You're going to have plenty of opportunities and shots at him in the future. It's not the end of the world if you can't get through hell mode on the Britmus tour. You can do everything you can, your due diligence when it pertains to the showdown. So focus in on that. And if you're a spender, well, you don't really have nothing to worry about. They had a lot of good offers on the um, on the portal, that's for sure. But, yeah, it's just unfortunate because I have Hogan, but I've, I have literally was watching back-to-back -back content on him. And it's just the thing. I don't have the strap for him. I don't have a drip plate. I do have the Viper Strikes. I do have the underdog story, which allows you to do those matches. And with the black breaking the black and then spamming a bunch of red and then the pin bar doesn't move so on and so forth we have those things but sadly i don't have a strap pass currently and that's one of those things where i'm like i'm not going to invest in that just to put a video out i'd rather just be real uh, real honest and just show you like sometimes things line up and you're able to knock things out i showed on this well uh, past weekend didn't spend anything was able to get to bret hart and i'm um, tiffany stratton and then the following day i got recruit alexa bliss player pain all well, like literally from a free loophole there's things that line up and then there's other things it's like look we did the best we could and you know it wasn't it wasn't enough but it's not the end of the world either so let me know by all means how far have you gotten when it comes to the showdown how far have you gotten with the ritmus please do not forget to make sure you're doing all your scout missions for the faction boss this weekend cody rose modern era powerhouse the uh, story continues check out professor g's uh g's gaming check out his um video because he literally broke down who would be the best people to utilize for this upcoming faction boss for your big four to take in the war for you and get everything sewed up and in order but inevitably like i said be proud to be a champion the bad times don't last so we just got to get through it even even yours truly can take a l but we still winning in life we're still thriving and surviving so with that being said hey yo hard work pays off dreams come true bad times don't last but champions do. Mad love and respect to each and every single one of you of my beloved champions fam. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel so you can always be up to date on what's coming up next from yours truly, the bad guy of WWE champions, Zeke 4 0, the most electrifying content creator in WWE champions entertainment. I love you all, I respect you all, and I'm praying for you all. I did not mean for it to go as long as it did, but literally just to sum it up, Sometimes you can do the content, sometimes you can't, and then you have to really be smart with your resources, respect them as hard as it was and to, get, uh, to get them and to accrue them. You need to respect every move and make every move count. This is not one of those games where they hand out resources left and right like it's funny money. You literally have to pick your spots. If you were able to have Hogan and Becky high enough and you have Edge high enough, then by all means partake and dabble to get that extra midweek prize wall current. If not, it's not the end of the world. Same thing when it pertains to Santa Hogan. He's a great coach. He's not going anywhere. There are going to be other opportunities, whether it's the summer, uh, the summer opportunity or the weather or to come Christmas. You will have more opportunities to go after Santa Hogan, get him higher up. Maybe you do some pulls and you pull him at a higher star rarity. Maybe you invest in the portal or in-game store offers to get those evolved tokens to take him further up. It's truly your path on how you want to do it. It's not the end of the world if you don't have him at 17K yet. It's not the end of the world if you don't have him up to 31K. Just have fun, be grateful, and be thankful for him, and be also aware that there are plenty of other alternative routes to go about things, to get that MP off, to get your gem damage done. There are other substitutes in the game, so it's not the end of the world if your Santa Hogan isn't up to where he needs to be doing gem damage as well as move damage and also giving you that one MP. So... With that being said, I love you all, I respect you all, and uh, I also understand the people that are upset about the inventory, the open all situation. I strongly agree that it's a cool, it's a cool quality of life option, but I believe that it should have been an option. I believe that it takes away from hoarding because not everyone's going to be able to 
control themselves because now you don't have that extra side of that side option when it pertains to your resources you don't have your inventory that you could just pop open after you get done doing everything you know what i mean like it'd be nice to have certain things pop open and then other things you don't i wish that they would just put it in the settings where it's like hey turn on open all or turn off simple and plain that's all you have to have to do like either you you're cool with it or give you the option of what things pop open and what things don't if i like for instance a for my tour rewards i would like for those to not to be off i would not want to open on uh, open all on for that i would like it off for my tour rewards when it comes to my milestones i would like that on that would be i mean it's a simple it's a simple fix it's just a question of what they will do and how they will fix it but i do understand that point because i mean it's cool if you pop open the premium chest and you see you pull a new character that's always great too but then it also takes away kind of from the excitement of being able to hold things for a rainy day like what we're going on the days of you maybe stacking over a hundred or 200 300 bags of a thousand tp that you could use the re-up for a next town up now it's literally like well they popped it open for me it's right there i might as well use it so i understand everyone's frustration all i could say for that is do what i would do what i what i do just report it to scopely send them a respectful email and just bring it to their attention um the also knowledge is power reach out to one of the official content creators maybe they can say something to furpo and then they can get in one of their live streams or in a, a future video it can be addressed and you can just know what's going for going on it's not the end of the world it's just i understand i feel i believe that there it's not it's not that it doesn't take that much work or effort to make an option within your so the game settings to choose to open all resources or to turn it off for specific things so that's just my thought on it but i do understand everyone's grievances and pains on that but don't worry there's always a storm before a rainbow and the hard times it's going to get worse before it gets better so just keep your head up know that the bad guy's here to ride with each and every single one of you and um just have an amazing remainder of the week we'll continue to knock out content we'll do what we can and now knowing how things are playing out more than likely for the edge contest for the edge video i'll just knock out the normal and hard mode as a video then to give you content and just showcase how i like using edge because there's a couple fun ways to use them or how i prefer to use them if you have them and um Good pulling on the loot banner if you went and optimized for that. But congrats to everybody who was able to, able to get through this. I've spoken too long. This video gone on way longer than it needed to. My sincerest apologies. But um, I love you all. I respect you all. I'm praying for you all. Stay tuned. Until next time, y'all. Peace.